Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with the new KVD Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. Here it is. I was very excited for this launch because I love the Good Apple Foundation. The Good Apple Foundation went viral on TikTok. Anyway, so this retails for $28. I got mine from Sephora. I think it's only online right now. And it has a total of 32 shades. And I got the shade Tan 167. And it's described as for tan skin with warm terracotta undertones. Now these undertones, the descriptions were some like I've never seen before, yellow with browns and right. Like, so I settled on the terracotta kind of threw me a little bit, but I literally went from the picture of the model because as you guys know, I like a bright under eye. I was thinking of 162, then I said, you know what, I'm gonna stick with 167. Okay, so quickly a little bit about this concealer. It's an extreme long wear, crease resistant concealer with the same hydrating, lightweight, full coverage as KVD's Beauty's iconic Good Apple Foundation. Everything else, I'm gonna have list, listed in the description box. So the coverage is full, finish is natural. Like ingredients and what else you need to know, everything is gonna be in the description box. Let's let me see how much product is in here. There is a total of 10 mils. Oh, so you got a, you got a good amount. Okay, so it came in this box. And what I like about it, the color of the concealer is on the box. I actually thought it was gonna be lighter but it's not, so I'm happy about that. Although I like a bright under eye, I can't go like too crazy. I mean, obviously, as you can see, and in my last video where I did my get ready with me using my faves, I got a lot of stuff about what color people think I am again, and I keep explaining, look at my neck and look at my face. I have to match somewhere in between, so leave me alone, I know. <laughs> All right. This is what the packaging looks like. So KVD, right? I think it's so gorgeous. And okay, I thought it was glass when I saw it. It feels like a heavy plastic. I could be wrong. So this is tan 167. I like the little thingy on top of it. I think it's very unusual packaging. I mean, there's no other concealer with this packaging, right? All right, so let me swatch it. And excuse my hands if it's a little dry. Oh. Because I haven't swatched this yet. Look at the sofa. Uh, look at the, well, it's a nice little applicator, a little different. All right, so I'm liking the color so far. I'm having such a problem with my ring light, guys. It's been going in and out. So if it goes out, I'm just going to cut the video and I'm going to come back on. All right, let me swatch it where you guys can see because my swatches are, ooh, oh, this is a beautiful color. See, I'm glad I didn't worry about the terracotta. What a beautiful golden shade. This just looks beautiful and golden to me. And just putting this on my hand, it feels so nice. It feels quite nice on my hand. All right, all right guys, so I'm gonna go in with the Good Apple Foundation since I'm using the concealer and, I, and this is the shade 076. I have 074 and 078. Yes, I have three shades of this um, <laughs> foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on quickly. All right, and as you guys know, a little bit of this goes a long way because this is like super um, pigmented. I'm just using my um, Sonia G. This is like the fan brush. I love it for cream products to blend it up. All right, so as you can see, this is like super full coverage. All right, let's go in with the concealer. I hope this is as good as the foundation. Okay, yeah, I love this shade. This is gonna give me the bright under eye that I want. All right, guys, so I'm going to let this sit for a little bit, like I've been doing with my concealers. I do find it's been lasting a little longer when I let it sit. So I'm gonna let it sit for like a minute and then I'll come back and I'm going to blend it out. All right, so let's go ahead and blend it out. Oh yeah, this is full coverage. 
Uh, I love me some full coverage foundation and some full coverage. Oh my goodness. Wow. That just blended out like nobody's business. Wow. All right. So a little bit of this is going to go a long way, but you guys know I like a lot of concealer, but this is okay. This is super full coverage guys. This is, oh, but it, yet it doesn't feel, it's so light for such, for the amount of coverage I'm getting, it feels like so light, so lightweight for the amount of coverage. All right. So let's go ahead and this is pretty guys. And I'm not wearing any concealer under this eye. You guys know I don't like to go under my eye too much with concealer. All right, so let's go ahead and put it over, well, the entire face. Like, I hope the camera is picking this up. The coverage on this concealer, really, really good. I have a heavy hand with concealer, but those of you who don't, <laughs> you do not need a lot of this concealer at all. All right, so I'm gonna blend out this eye and the rest of my face. All right, this is everything blended out. And uh, let me tell you, this concealer is beautiful. And like I always say when I review concealers especially, I always know the concealer is gonna crease on me because it creases right away. Look how smooth my under eye look with this concealer. Wow, this is gonna be a hit just like the foundation. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. I feel like I, I, got, I got a facelift. <laughs> mm. Wow. This is so beautiful. The texture and the formula of this concealer feels so, it feels like airy, right? Like you have nothing on your skin, but yet you're getting this, this beautiful full coverage, just looking, my skin looks so supple. This is so good. All right, let's put a little powder on it because I always set my concealer and yeah, it's, there's no creasing. See, I don't even have to go back in because I like to go back in and make sure the concealer is blended out before I go in with powder. And I don't have to do that with this concealer. Wow. All right. As usual, my Laura Mercier powder in honey. I'm just going to put it, set it just like I would set any other concealer. I hope it behaves because <laughs> sometimes you put stuff on it doesn't go together. All right. And I'm going to finish up the rest of my face on camera, off camera, but I wanted you guys to see. Okay. Played very nicely with each other. That's what we, oh my God, this concealer is beautiful. Mm. Like you just know when something is good just by, just by the initial application. Like I don't even have to wait for this to sit. And look, no creasing. It just looks like perfection under my eye. Wow. My initial reaction, I'm blown away by this concealer. Really. I mean, this is a proper, this is what a concealer is supposed to be. You should be. You're supposed to be able to blend it out. If you want it to sit on your skin a little bit, you're supposed to, you shouldn't have to be rushing and then it still gets stuck. All right, guys, I'm going to finish up the rest of my face off camera and I'll be back with more thoughts. But for right now, I'm just going to leave this here. This is the bomb. Okay. It's beautiful. I'm so obsessed with this color that I chose. I did good. All right, guys, I am back with the rest of my makeup done and look at this concealer. This is gonna be viral just like the foundation. It's that good. This is an absolutely beautiful concealer and doing my makeup and everything, look at my under eye, no creasing. Look at my under eye. And I love this shade 167 because it has the brightening effect that I love, but it doesn't look too crazy. If you're here for the first time, I'm NC50 and MAC as a general shade reference. And no, I am not, my undertone is not cool. I am not red. 
I'm just putting that out there. I know my undertone. I'm not red. Um, and every other comparable foundation shade is going to be listed in the description box. But this is fire. Wow. And I love this packaging. Love this packaging. I was just getting used to loving my Anastasia, right? The magic touch. Now, the good apple, I'm giving it 10 apples out of 10. <laughs> Pun intended. All right. So I'm going to wear it for a few hours. And I'm not going to do like a whole eight hour and all that stuff. But I'm going to come back and just see how it wears over, you know, the next two to three hours at most. But I love this. It's beautiful. All right, guys. I'll see you later for a final check. Hi, guys. So I'm back for my final check-in. It's now 7.03 p.m. So I put this on around one o'clock, a little before one or one o'clock. So I've had it on for like six hours. And like I always say to you guys, when I wear a concealer, if it's going to crease on me, it creases like fast within the first few minutes sometimes. So I've had this on for a little over six hours and look at my under eye. No creasing. I can't see any lines or anything. This looks immaculate. This is such a beautiful concealer. And I was reading that the applicator is supposed to mimic your fingers. And I definitely think it does. In a way, like when you put it on, it's like so easy. I love the applicator. I've never really seen an applicator like this. All right, sorry guys, I have to tell my son to keep it down. Yeah, so this is what the concealer looks like. It's beautiful. And it just has like this flawlessness to it it's very full coverage but it's not cakey it also looks a bit natural to me not completely natural but it just looks so smooth i think that's the word it's so smooth so flawless and i looking back i could have put less i love a lot of concealer but with this concealer guys you like really if you're like me you love to put a lot of concealer you're heavy-handed with your concealer you don't need to. You do not need a lot of this concealer. I could have definitely, I could have, whatever I put on this side, I could have split that and put half and half. That's how full coverage this concealer is. And I think it just lifted my face. Of course, I have a highlighting shade. And I think if you find a shade that's closer to your skin tone, I think it's going to be perfect. This is just as beautiful as the foundation, guys. This is it's one of the best concealers I've tried recently like in the past i would say a year plus this is so beautiful i'm looking forward to wearing this <laughs> so much so i'm gonna be putting my abh aside for a little bit and wearing this it's totally it's really good guys i totally recommend this concealer it is so good so i hope when you purchase it because you know you guys are gonna go buy it right that's why you're looking at this video I hope you're you're gonna enjoy it as much as I enjoyed it. I I'm looking forward to like wearing it more. It's really really good. All right, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.